I got you some more chains because with how you're thrashing around like that, you're actually wearing the other ones down. That's pretty impressive. You have willpower, and I love that about you. I love a lot of things about you. Even if they get annoying sometimes. You know, I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to resort to medicine. And I really don't want to use medicine on you. It'll make you look... weird. What's that? Speak up a little bit. You don't like how I'm... I'm not trying to be like Takashi. I don't like when you say that, you know. It really gets on my nerves. More so than any of the other things you say about me. Although those hurt too. You know, speaking of Takashi, there's a game he taught me. It's called Mine Mine. Would you like to play? Yeah? Okay. No, no. I heard you correctly. You said yeah. Now, the rules of mine mine is you have the giver and the taker. I'm going to be the taker because I know more about this game than you do. So, basically, I'm going to ask you questions. And every time you tell me something I don't want to hear, I'm going to say mine mine and take something from you. Now, I think the something that you should lose are your teeth. Boy, you look really scared. You don't want to play mine mine. Oh, but I want to play. So we're going to play. Okay. Glad we're on the same page. Okay. Now, remember when we visited your parents? I seem to have forgotten their address. Would you give it to me? Mine, mine. Try not to scream too loud. It hurts my delicate ears. You want another chance? Okay. We'll bend the rules a little bit because it's your first time playing. And because it seems like you can't follow basic instructions. So, here's our new version of Mine Mine. If I say Mine Mine three times, you lose a tooth. Okay. Let's play again. Yeah? I'll go back to my question. Where does your family live? Very good. You get to keep this round. Next question. Your best friend, Courtney. Where does she live? Mine, mine. Where does Courtney live? Good. Next question. Do you wear makeup to bed? <laughs> it's a joke. A little comedy to lighten the mood. Thank me for being so nice. Thank you. Very good. Next question. Do you think I'm a psychopath? Mine, mine. You've got one more try. Do you think I'm a psychopath? Good. You know, I'm kind of an outcast. In my family, at least. You see, both of my brothers were able to make beautiful names for themselves. Takashi became the most wanted hitman in the country. A skilled assassin, a fearless fighter. My other brother is richer than some billionaires. 
and my father and mother loved both of them way more than me. Do you know why? Because I was the weakling of the family. I decided to be normal, to not pursue anything criminal or underhanded. And in doing so, I made my mafia boss father very disappointed. It's kind of sad, really. But when I was ready to give up on everything, due to the lack of anybody loving, caring, or respecting me, guess who came out of nowhere and loved me? That's right. It was you. And now... Now, you don't respect me anymore. I'm not even sure you love me anymore. You just... You look for ways to hurt yourself, which hurts me. And you try to get away from me any chance you get. Can you see how I don't feel respected, my love? Yeah. So, I won't let you slip away from me. I won't let you be like my mother and father. And I won't let you stop loving me. Because you're mine, mine. Okay, Patreon shout-out time! Alright, let's see here. We've got Nocturna Bunny 875 We've got Nur Ayman Hamim Zaid. We have Hayono Fuko. We have Squirrelella, Squirrella. We have Guitar the Fox. We have Dusty. We have Cesara. We have Ariana. And we have Grim Reaper.